How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms and Castles. Now, today, we're starting off with a plague, as per usual in our kingdom as of late. And, of course, also Vikings are invading. Now, I was actually doing a little bit off recording. What I'm doing over here, like I said, I want to bring my residents onto this, this, this big land over here. I actually decided to start building a large pier. Uh, so what we're basically gonna do is go all the way and have a big square here of residential buildings uh, Because as you can see we are clearly running out of space and I don't want to invade on our orchards over here I'm also going to probably have to expand out our castle a little bit and uh, give some more room for orchard fields But we're okay for food right now, so I'm not gonna rush that Let's get back into the game though and start off with a Viking invasion. What's better than that? All right, but as you guys know, we've gotten pretty lucky with the Viking invasions. Uh, we can pretty much deal with them now. Mind you, this guy, how many ogres do we got here? Looks like we got five ogres. That's probably the biggest setup of ogres yet. Let's speed this up and see how big this army truly is. So we still got some more coming in. I wish the view distance was a bit more in this game. Obviously, that's pretty close to our civilization. All right, let's see if these guys... Oh, God, actually... I might need to bring my uh, knights over. We might actually need to utilize our knights, guys. All right, Sir Lohans, let's get over here because I think, yes, we got uh, this guy. Actually, I kind of wanted to clear this forest out, so I appreciate that, man. Uh, clear cutting my forest for me. Hopefully, yes, we actually just took him down. He did damage that a little bit, but that should be totally fine. Uh, we got lots more Vikings coming in, but it uh, doesn't look too good for them. Oh, no, my quarry. All right, that should be fine, though. It's right by water. They should be able to put it out really quickly. They already did, so that's good. Oh, what are you guys... What was this? Oh, my freaking... My forester? I guess they really can't attack much else, so they have to attack the forester. Now, is this thing... Do we have... Okay, it's open. I closed some of these down because we were having too much military. Uh, looks like everything's open, though. Looks like... We're pretty safe. I might lose this forester. Actually, I think they just put it out again. So as I've said before, uh, the Vikings, not so bad anymore. We really don't have to worry too much about them. And I'm only going to build these walls bigger, so we should be even more safe. I'm actually thinking about maybe getting rid of my army and just have my ballistas around. But I think that's a little bit too cocky. You know, some bad things can still happen. All right, but let's continue uh, building this up. This is my major goal today to build residential buildings here. I also want to uh, improve maybe my uh, whole city here. Like, the, for, for example, farmlands, we don't really need those anymore. So I might rebuild these roads over here and make more orchards all the way through. Also, I mean, we have this logging camp over here. It's kind of tempting to utilize that area. My goal right now is to make the most populous city Ever. Now, we are still having money issues here, so you know what? I think I am gonna uh, start laying off some of these military guys in here. Like, especially these guys right here. Let's just uh, close these down. We can always open them up if Vikings do invade, but they're really not gonna do anything. So let's get those guys out of here. That's more money we can save. And as you can see, how's our money doing right now? We're at a plus 108 per year. So we're doing a little bit better and we're taxing for two. Happiness is quite low though. So I'd obviously like to tax for less if possible. And look at my working crew. I seriously love this job priority thing. I actually, it's so efficient. I had to put my orchardists at the top because I had so many builders that uh, we were running out of food. Uh, just because they weren't doing their orchardist job first. So this thing works really, really well, almost too well, to the point where they'll just leave any important job and come and help build. It makes building really, really quick, though, so that's good. But yeah, it's just, I love this priority system now, and as you can see, I got the wheel kind of inside now. I like this style. I think it's going to be cool having a random water wheel just in our city. All right, and we got a nice big square now, but I want to fill in all of this. I think it's going to look really cool when it's done because we're going to have a nice big square kingdom. So I'm going to see we should be able to fill all this in. I'm taxing really, really hard right now, but we got a lot of pier to build over here. And unfortunately, that's all I have right now. So where is that merchant ship? Is he already docked? Yes, he is. All right, let's see what this guy is buying and selling. All right, we always need tools. So he's got three. They always have lots of tools. Now, do we have lots of money? We actually do have quite a bit of money right now. So I'm going to buy 20 tools. That's perfect. Uh, what else are we low on right now? It actually... 
We're kind of low on everything. I'm actually having stone issues now, and that feels weird because we never really had that. Uh, but I guess our logging is so good now that stone is becoming the major issue. Now, is he buying something for a high amount? We got uh, we got lots of armaments. I've actually been overproducing those, so it's actually great for trading because they're worth lots of money. So there we go. That's 72 gold right there. Only other thing we have abundance of is, well, I guess technically food and timber. So is he buying lots of timber? Yes, he, well, a decent amount. He's not buying any food, but 118 extra gold? That's a lot of gold, man. It's hard to get gold in this game, so I really love these merchanting ships. All right, but here comes my working crew. This is gonna be so cool when it's done. Now, let's also address some other issues while we still have tools to our disposal. Let's uh, start getting rid of some of these rocks. I really want to kind of open up as much area as we can. So rock removal is going to be important. It's just, unfortunately, there's it costs so much in blacksmithing tools. So we'll probably do a lot of fine-tuning today, making our kingdom just a little bit better. I want to work on our walkways a little bit because uh, you can definitely start to see where a lot of them are wasting time. And time is money, so I'm hoping to put a walkway kind of through this middle here, just to have more routes for them so they're faster. All right, but check it out how fast these guys are. Let's actually open this up for them so they're a little bit quicker. I'm going to demolish this since we need an entrance into here. And I guess we can start working on this. Now, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because I am going to think about the best way to lay this out. But if we put a walkway at least till there, it's going to make them a little bit faster to get in here and therefore make us do this much quicker. I just realized this uh, pole doesn't have anything on it. That's one of the few poles that should have uh, weaponry on it because this is not a safe area. So we're going to put that there. Uh, I guess we have another pole here that, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Ballistas for days. There we go. So that is looking good. Now, I was waiting for, I needed more stone. We got enough stone now. We should be able to finish this up or at least close to. There we go. Hey, trades boats. They seem to be doing their job really well now, and oh, of course, we still need to wait for two. But look how much more area we have over here now. So yes, we are turning into a dock kingdom. I think we're slowly going to have more and more dock going around here just as we need more space. And here he comes, the final lad. I'm assuming this is all we need. Yes, there was a lot of people under there. <laughs> One guy went in, about 15 came out. Now look at that, guys. Look at how much... Just for size reference, how much more area we're going to have uh, to build our residential buildings. So before we start building in here, let's build the castle wall first. Make sure this place is as safe as possible. I'd hate to get invaded as we're building this because it's not going to be prepared. So let's put our defenses first. And we just passed year 200, by the way. So welcome to our 200-year-old kingdom. Isn't it great? Oh my god, look at all the builders now. I'm telling them to build a lot, so they're obviously going to come in huge waves. But this is kind of the traffic congestion issue that I have. So I think I'm, well, I'm definitely going to open this up. We're going to get rid of this wall and expand out this down here. So I guess we could, uh, as this wall is being built, let's start doing that as well. They'll probably build the wall by the time we're done anyway. So we're going to do lots of demolishing today. Lots of moving around and making this a little bit more efficient. And there she goes. That whole wall is now gone. And look at all this area that we have now to play with. How fun is that? All right, let's continue building this wall up, though. I want this at least too high and then have a few military personnel on it so we can keep this side safe as well. All right, and there's the wall basically done. So let's move right on to start building the walkways. Now, I want to make sure that they have everything in here and that they're seriously happy. So I'm going to take more time kind of planning out my routes here. But what I do want to do for sure is go all the way down to basically the wall. Let's actually wrap all the way around the wall. So I'm going to keep this too wide so we can put manors in there if we want to as well or libraries, things like that. Uh, and we're going to go right down over to here and then right up to this other walkway. Now there's much more room in here to expand, but that's enough for right now, that's for sure, because we could just keep going down this wall with manors. And now that we've done that, let's actually put, I know I'm gonna move one manor, so we're gonna put one manor down already. We'll just throw that guy right here like so, and I wanna get rid of this one right here. I just randomly threw this one up. You know, I was looking for as much space as possible to expand out, but this is basically from this walkway to the left, I want housing. From this walkway to the right, I want farming. So we're even going to get rid of this marketplace here. That's actually remarkably close to my other marketplace, which is right over here. I don't even know 
if that really helped too much. I actually might want a marketplace over here. Let's do that. All right, so we'll throw a market right in there. There's a few residents here. There's a, there, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff here. Let's be honest. We got hospitals. We got great halls. We got a little bit of everything over here. So I'll probably fix that later as well. But right now I'm focused on the uh, farming and the residential area here. So that should be good. Now we have more room over here, obviously, uh, for more orchards. But I also want to work on these lines here. I want to have a better system in place. All right, so we got rid of that road. We're moving this down here like so. Hopefully that fixes that other weird road. Uh, now also, ugh, it'd be great if I can move this over, but obviously I can't. So I'm wondering if I should move... No, I can't move my aqueduct here either. This is just a very weird setup with my aqueduct. So that's the one issue that I got going on here is... Uh, what I'm going to do to fix this aqueduct issue that we're having. All right, I think I got a new plan. I'm going to put the uh, block by the existing structure. Oh, I can't put... Okay, so we're going to have to delete that. I forgot about that thing. I can put the aqueducts on top of road, but not the reservoirs. But I'm going to move a reservoir over here. That's going to go to the tip of our fields here. And basically, I want this to be on the walkway. So... I think this, well, obviously we're going to have an issue for right now because we don't have any water. We should be able to fix that issue really, really quickly. And then I'm going to possibly pull this whole road back so we have a nice straight road going down here. You'll kind of see what I'm doing as we go about. We might have a risky season here, though, with li limited food because these things take a while to build. Uh, and, of course, a dragon sighted. Let's see how long this one lasts. It's always fun to see if they can make it even into my kingdom. Oh, this one, it actually, oh, just made it in. Oh, and a merchant has arrived. Actually, that's really good. Perfect. All right, this one's charging pretty high for tools. Usually it's five to six. This guy wants nine. How many tools? I got zero tools right now, though. Even with two blacksmiths, I still need more tools. So I got lots of money. I do have lots of money, though. Let's buy... Oh, my God. Let's buy 50, maybe. I, I, I really need tools because I, I want to get rid of rocks. So it's worth it to me. And is he buying anything for really high? I mean, we got armaments for days. So as per usual, we'll sell those for 112. We also have a crap load of timber right now. So that's great because that's worth lots of money. And iron as well. Iron we always have lots of. So uh, he's only buying iron for one. That makes a lot of sense. Timber for two and iron for one. I don't think that was, that's very accurate. All right, but we're going to complete the sale. So we made 223 and we spent like 500, but that's perfect. Now we got all these rocks here. This is why I wanted to do this. So to get rid of all the damn rocks around our place, we got another rock there ready to go. Uh, let's get rid of these ones just so we have more space. Did we not get rid of those ones? I think, yes, we did. Okay. They just still have to be built. All right, and there we go. We got another reservoir, so we can start doing what I want to do. So we're going to get rid of all of these things. Oh, I should have just waited a couple more seconds, and we would have got, got just a little bit more food, but that's fine. But now that we got that reservoir there, we're going to move our walkway over one here, and that's actually going to really confuse it. So we're going to delete the other walkway first so it doesn't glitch out because it likes to do that sometimes. But there we go. Now we can build a walkway all the way down to this road by our wonderful knights over here. And I'm also going to build the reservoir, or sorry, aqueduct on top of that road. I'm going to go all the way down. We're just going to follow the roads with the aqueducts. That's generally what you want to do to save space. And then we're going to connect. Oh, oh, it's, like it's, all, it's all confused over there. So I guess we'll give it time. Uh, but we are going to connect that via the road. And uh, then we're going to delete the rest of this aqueduct. And hopefully things go very, very well. All right, and now let's get back to the drawing board. So what I think I'm going to do here, uh, we're going to do a lot of renovations. I don't see the point. We have, this is what I like over here, two fields side by side. We have all these walkways over here, just an unnecessary amount of walkways. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to have to do lots of moving again, but uh, we've been okay. Like we've been earning food and we've been stable. So obviously doing all this hasn't really affected us. And I was kind of worried about it. I, I didn't want to change much because I was worried I would break it. Clearly that is not the case anymore. So we're getting rid of all of this. So we're going to demolish these three. Uh, and basically what we're going to be doing here is put food. We want to obviously put... Oh, that's, that's the wrong thing. I want an orchard. Not a granary. Orchards are definitely the most important thing right now. So there we go. That's too far away from roads, sir. Oh my god, really? So... 
Oh, it's just that little square. Are you serious? Okay, we have to build a road anyways, so I guess we got to build the road first. But we can put a couple down at least, so we can hopefully build those really, really quickly and uh, fix our food issue. And for right now, we'll just stop it there. I might have to get rid of a lot of this stuff. We got the baker here and everything, or I could just go behind it, I guess, and fix this as well. I'll probably end up doing that, but this is looking a lot better off already, obviously. And can we put down these orchards now, or... Yes, we can. So even if the... Oh, the road's already built. <laughs> the road wasn't built when I said that, but uh, they're really quick at doing their jobs here, so that's good. Now, over here, it looks like... Yeah, we're only gonna have one lane going down this way, but... I mean, we have all this space up here. Oh, the unfortunate part is... Okay, taking off that road. Now I, 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 I see the issue. It looks like it's just out of reach from the road, so we're gonna have issues there. Why Why is this okay? I guess because of this road over here. So it does have a decent radius, but I thought I would be able to get more orchards over here. Clearly, I was mistaken. So what should I do in that regard? I guess we could put buildings here too. It doesn't need to be all orchards. So yeah, unfortunately, I spent a lot of money on this road, and now I'm putting it in again. So a little bit of money wasted, but I thought it would work. Clearly, I was mistaken. Hopefully, that one fixes. It's all weird right now. Also, we may as well, um, well, how do I want to do this? Because, oh my god, there's just, there's, it's a mess over here. You know what? Let's just get rid of these two, uh, because I want to get them out of the way. And you know what? I'm just going to build a road right down this way. And once we get to this house, we'll wrap it around and connect to the pathway. That should look really, really good. Oh, Vikings are invading again? That, that was twice in like 10 years. So uh, do we got all these guys working right now? We should be okay. It looks like actually, no, we actually got some that... Is this one? Okay, well, let's open that up. Hopefully they get to work really, really quickly. I did close a lot of these. So now we need to open them up. Looks like that one's open, though. So we do got... Looks... Oh, wow. They're already in there? And shooting? Yeah, they are. Okay, so I was worried they'd have to, like, travel there. But clearly, that was very, very quick. So, oh, they're coming over here, too. Uh, are all these open? They're, they're grayed out if they're not open. So, yes. Ooh, they broke my, uh... Oh, no! Viking ship destroyed Ballista Tower. Great! Great. Totally great. They're actually invading at the best part. The part I was worried about... But as you can see, we have lots of defenses here, so we might be okay. Problem is, they don't need to break down the wall. We're sinking ships like crazy, though. They broke my damn docks like crazy, though, as well. So I gotta fix all those. We got fires going on. Look at the amount of arrows, though. What? Did you just walk on land? Oh, I, no, I guess that's right. The water goes into land a little bit. Look at my dock! What did you got, you jerks? Uh, that's the one thing you could destroy, and you did a very good job at it, clearly. And there goes that house, too. Great. So, that was actually a pretty successful Viking raid compared to the other ones. They took down part of the wall as well. God damn, I gotta repair some of this stuff. All right, well, that was a quick fix. A little annoying, but uh, did I put up here? Let's just make sure I did it all. I just don't think I put one there. There we go. So, we got everything. Wow, the bridge is already built, as you can see. Oh, I love it. I love how quick they are. How are we doing for beds? We got uh, 665 beds with 691 people here. Okay, that's a little bit of an issue. Oh, that would, that would explain it. We had a fire over here, too. All right, so let's put down two manors then over here to keep the residents happy. And I also want to start building some other things for these guys, especially over here. So, oh, we got a library. <laughs> I was going to put a library right beside the other library. Talk about competition on the library front, but uh, oh, wells can't be played can only be placed on land. Well, that makes a lot of sense, but that's uh, actually pretty unfortunate. The benefit being, land's kind of in the middle of this, so we'll be able to utilize that to make these guys very, very happy. Let's actually put... For right now, we'll put those there. We can always change them later, and I probably will. All right, but these guys do love a good tavern. I think we got one pretty close to here, but you can't hurt to have too many, so let's put another one there. Let's also put a marketplace... I'm going to put a market way at the back end here. I, I know I have like three now, but the markets seem to help quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll address this later. Let's go see how our... How is our food doing, actually, now that I think about it? Plus 23 every year. That's not enough. I want to start making serious amounts of food. So really, my best option is to, well, put the orchards here like this, but I guess we're still going to have to have some farmland. The benefit being farmland is uh, good for one-spot places, so we're going to put farms all up here... And that's going to be a lot of farms, man. So I might want to get rid of the rest of these guys. Because I want to get rid of all these farms over here. And put either orchards or other things that we need. Let's put another granary here as well. Just to make sure we have enough space. And it's kind of in a convenient place. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it in a... 
in a much more convenient place because these guys are actually far away from a granary over here. So we may as well keep these guys happy by putting one over there as well to store food. And let's finish up this place with more orchards. There we go, though. That is a much more compact orchard field. That's what I desperately wanted. And finally, we do have it. So that feels good. We are definitely going to need a church over here. Churches actually don't have too much distance on them. So one thing I wish it had is when you had an item, it would show the other items and where they are. We got another church over here, but you can see the distance. If we put another church over here... That's going to keep everybody happy on this side as well. So let's put it... I don't know how I want to do these roads yet, so I'm kind of just strategizing here. I think I might put it over here for right now. Let's do that. And back to rock removal. Let's do that. Let's get rid of... Yeah, okay. We definitely want to get rid of some of these rocks. Was that... Oh, my God. That was all my tools. I just need one more, but I want to pull these things back so we can put orchards all the way down here. It's going to look great. Uh, then we're going to start getting rid of farmland and moving that over to orchards as well. So yeah, this is the major upgrading episode. By the way, we never really looked at this. Guardian of the Forest and all of its creatures. It doesn't really explain what it does. What is this? Okay, that's just a look at, at it closer. I'm not sure what the statues do. Obviously, they're really good, though. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, also, what else did I want to do here? Okay, well, I guess we got to get rid of this rock. Complete removal of that. I'm thinking I want to do a walkway in here. Like I said, I want to work on our pathways. And a lot of people walk uh, between these two roads. So obviously, if we put a pathway in the middle, it's going to make them very, very happy. Problem being, all our charcoal makers and miners are here as well. We can actually drop down some of those, though. Um, how are we doing for charcoal? We're actually... This is charcoal here. Yes, it is. So definitely, we still need the charcoal. We'll put another one up somewhere else. Another dragon sighting. Surprise, surprise. We're going to demolish this, though, as well. Because I don't really need as many stone as I once did. We're going to chop down these trees, and then we have a direct access way uh, all the way over here. Get rid of that well. Put another well down, just out of the way a little bit, and uh, I guess now we wait for those trees to be chopped. And hopefully this road is used quite well. There we go. It looks like they're pretty much done. Yep, they're perfect. And we can go through here. And again, and again this is just some more space to put some... Um, actually, crap. Can we not attach that? to the dock. I wonder if I have to put down a new dock. Okay, no, it's automatically done. So perfect. We have access to the dockway and people are definitely using it. So that's good. Good news. We are actually overproducing tools finally. So I can actually do things like rock removal. So let's complete that. There we go. This is going to be great. I wanted to get rid of rocks for so long, especially in the, in the capital and everything. So now we can move these things back, the granaries. Do we have side by side? That really is not a smart idea. We should spread these things out. But uh, I guess we can keep them like that. There really isn't that much space now that I've filled up this anyway. So how are we doing for food? We're doing plus 274 a year. So we're totally fine for food. That means we can expand, which is great. Our happiness is really high right now, though. I haven't had a happiness issue all day, which is kind of weird because last episode, it was all about happiness. So I guess we're doing something right. You know what? Let's get rid of this rock as well, since we don't want to see that ugly thing there. Where are the other rocks? Now, I want to get rid of these guys so we can close in the wall. Um, oh, oh, we're running out of money. That's fine. It happens. But there we go. We got rid of those three rocks. I don't think we'll get rid of these because I'm actually mining them. So that should be good like that over there. All right. Complete removal of that, though. I wish you could move things or just tell them to move them. But we got to demolish the granary. Oh, that actually might be a very bad idea because it's our storage. Actually, it's on the ground. So we might lose some of it. Let's actually pause time so we're not wasting time here. We're going to demolish that, and we're going to start demolishing this road. We're moving roads. We're doing lots of different changes today. Okay, and there we go. I got my one granary up. The other one is going up. It looks like they're... <laughs> you can see they're mass storing the food right now. So they're smart. You know, they see a new granary. They actually store food as quickly as possible so it doesn't spoil. Now let's wait for this other one to be done. Wait for it. And now that it's done, let's watch that pile go down really, really quickly. And now they don't really care. They just slightly take food as they walk by. What the? Why, why was the other one done so well? So I guess they don't really care about that food. They just wanted to get rid of the other food. All right, but now that we've done that, what we're going to want to do is obviously continue on this road and get rid of these farmlands. So how are we doing for food? We should be totally great now. So yeah, we are overproducing food. So that makes me not worry about doing things like this. 
because I want to build this road down here. We're going to get rid of the windmill since we're not going to have farmlands anymore. No sense of having a windmill. I love how I have an orchard over here. I don't even remember putting it there. But sometimes when you need food quickly, you do crazy things. And I hate to do this, but I'm getting rid of the damn town square. We just don't use it enough, and it's huge. So we may as well utilize that space for something more important like food. I guess we'll get rid of this orchard, though. Not that we really need it anymore. We need to chop down this tree. I'm going to go right to the end there. And what do we got going on down here? Okay, so this is where a lot of our mining is. So I don't want to get rid of that. We're going to keep that there. We're just going to kind of wrap it around the little bit of mining that we have going on here. So wait for those. And there we go. We got the fields done. Okay, so now we want to get rid of all this crap because we're probably overproducing food at this point. And now that I think about it, we won't even need the baker anymore. That just turns wheat into uh, bread. But we're not making wheat anymore, so goodbye, baker. Uh, we are moving on, moving up in life, and there are less jobs that we need. The orchard is just too useful to not do them. Okay, so I got it set up for our orchards, but uh, as for as of right now, as you can see, our food, we're, we're basically maxed out. So we obviously did it right, and we did it very, very well, so that feels great. Let's move on and uh, put a few more housing units down in here, because like I said, my goal is to make this place as crazy as possible, as big as possible. So we're going to get a few more residents here. Let's do something like that. Again, I don't want to go too crazy because I do want to keep these guys happy as well. So things like taverns and stuff like that. I just want to see what they complain about and then address it from there. But we have all this space now. Like, I really... I, uh, I didn't expect this to be so useful, but just adding this huge spot and reinforcing or re-improving our orchard fields has, has improved our situation drastically. Like, we are... How's our happiness right now? Still at 80, uh, and I'm taxing them like crazy. You gotta remember that. So, yeah, these guys are happy campers, and for good reason. Uh, it seems like we're doing really, really good. Now, this housing over here, I'll probably start to get rid of that as well since we don't need the small houses anymore. This guy's having a bread issue as well, so he's too far away from a market. Things like that, we got to keep the guys happy, so uh, we definitely do want to do that. And look at how quickly, like I've just been talking for a second, these houses are almost done. And you got to remember, we still have idle people, so just getting more population is going to get more unemployed people, but we need more people. Okay, so this one's done. I keep forgetting of all the things that I'm doing. We got all this space over here now because of the rock removal. We should be able to, yes, get rid of these rocks and fill up this place. So we actually have a wall over here. Merchant has arrived as well. Oh, that one actually... Oh, did I... I did the wrong thing. I demolished the damn rock removal and not the rock. So I guess we got to waste some money and do that again. Look, guys, it's like a modern day suburb. And I just realized that I baked these all the wrong way. Yes, I did. So, uh, yeah, I'm not really good at the whole house placement part. These are backwards. Doesn't matter, though. They're still happy campers to at least have a house. And now we have 840 beds. So we have a room for 100 more people. I'm not going to go any more crazy than that because we could run into food issues. You never know. All right, guys, but I think this is a good spot to end off. Obviously, this is going to be a long process to improve our uh, situation here, but I gotta say, we have a really good foundation now for prosperity, and I, I want to see how big we can get, man. I want to get to, like, 2,000, 3,000 residents. That would be really, really cool. I just want to see how much ground or how much I can utilize this ground to make as many people as possible happy, but... I'm not going to rush out the content. i got to remember this is an early access game, so updates will happen. So we'll probably wait till the next update before another episode happens. But feel free to suggest any suggestions that you guys have down below on how we can make this more efficient, what you like and dislike about it, and any suggestions you have for episodes. So as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>